understand this is uh, I'm a beginner in stand up, not advanced. Woo! <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, has anyone ever noticed that on social media, uh, people that post the most inspirational quotes are like the least inspirational people? <laughs> like, I'll be scrolling through Instagram and I see a photo that says something like, Life is a staircase, and I'm not gonna stop until I reach the top. <laughs> that's how I imagine, that's how I imagine the voice is playing around. <laughs> and all the inspirational posts are bad, some can be truly inspirational, but it's the really, you can find the truth in the hashtags. So it'll start off like, it'll start off pretty normal, you know, like, hashtag hustle. Hashtag chasing the, chasing the grinds, hashtag on that hustle. Uh, and then they start to get a little dark. Like, hashtag, but I need an agent. Hashtag, seriously, I've been here for four years. Hashtag, I need to move out of my parents' house. Hashtag, I, I, I'll even be in a porno. Hashtag, always, does anyone know any porno agents? Hashtag, I hate myself and I hate all of you. Hashtag, hustle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the stick is a little steeper than they thought. <laughs> Um, so I was watching old clips of uh, Pit My Ride the other day. Don't ask me how I got there. Uh, you remember that show? It's on MTV. It's uh, where a rapper exhibit. He'd take your car and he'd pimp it up, right? You know, so it's like epic stuff, like uh, like a stripper pole, flashing lights, video game system, jacuzzi, like basically everything that's meant to distract you. And I'm thinking, like, what's the rate of crashes for those cars post show? Because like none of that stuff is safe. You'd be like, yo, I'm taking your review mirror and it's now a disco ball. I'm like, what? That's awful. Why, do I, why would you do that? He's like, so you can dance when you drive. Like, yo, your engine is now a chocolate fountain. <laughs> How is my car gonna run? He's like, yo, it'll run just fine on those party fumes. Like, oh. And what, and he, and I, I replaced your uh, windshield with like an 80 inch plasma TV. Oh, so I just can't, I just can't see now. That's great. No, you can see just fine, but you can't see those pixels because it's 4K HDT resolution. Imagine <laughs> like uh, the accident report for those cars. Like, you're like, uh, sir, can you tell me exactly uh, what happened here? You're like, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just getting a massage in the back, catching up on the wire, and I just totally missed the red light. What? I mean, if I was on that show, I just want like a practical, something practical. I'd be like, maybe get my car like, I don't know, like 35 miles per gallon instead of 30 or something. He's like, no, bitch, your turn signals are now air horns. <laughs> I think I know why that show got canceled. Uh, so uh, living in LA is very interesting because you're always surrounded by actors and actresses, and you never know if people are actually arguing if there's like some really elaborate scene. Like I was uh, walking downtown today and I saw this like wonderful scraggly gentleman, he gave me this monologue he's like, you don't know what I've seen, you don't know where I've been, you don't know who can taste the cement on the back of your esophagus. I'm like, wow, there's so much talent in this city. It's incredible. I'm like, it got me thinking, like I would know the perfect way to murder somebody. Uh, I'm not, I'm not actually gonna murder somebody, but if I did, I'd know like the perfect way, I'd like, get one of those casting studios, you know, where this audition is going on, and everyone thinks everything's a scene. I just drag my victim in, and I just start stabbing him. Because honestly, he could say anything. He'd be like, oh my god, I'm getting stabbed! Somebody please help me! And everyone on the outside would just be like, oh wow, he's nailing that audition. <laughs> oh, he's good. <laughs> and after I'm done, right, I just bring the body out, just bleeding. I'm just like, well, he, uh, he got the part. They just start applauding. <laughs> He's like, oh, he's so method, wow. Uh, so, I'm heartbroken. Is anyone else out heartbroken out there? Put a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I would move if I was heartbroken. That's, that's surprising. Uh, I get heartbroken a lot, uh, and I think the issue is because I live my life like a movie, uh, but no one else knows they're in my movie. So uh, my ex, you know, having an argument and we're getting close to breaking up. I was like, get a surge of romantic inspiration. I'm like, ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. I remember that show uh, or that movie, Say Anything with John Cusack. He takes the boombox, you know, and he puts it over his head. I'm like, I'm gonna do just that. Uh, but I highly underestimated how difficult it would be to get a boombox in 2016. So that took like seven hours. But then I finally get outside her house and I'm like holding it up. I'm like, this is a big moment. She comes outside. She's like, what are you doing? You're waking up the neighbors. I'm like, it's 
no, I'm winning you back. And she's like, why are you wearing a trench coat? That's creepy. Well, John Cusick in the movie, he wears a trench coat. And it's really, it's supposed to be romantic. Like, a, And she's like, what are you doing? It's not romantic. You're just being really annoying. I'm like, Peter Gabriel's playing. The scene's not so damn dialogue. <sighs> she, uh, she didn't play the part right. <laughs> We were, uh, we were supposed to get back together. I wasn't supposed to get like a restraining order. <laughs> uh, and uh, then I realized, oh, I'm not a romantic comedy, I'm in a tragedy. That's, that's where I went wrong. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, so in, uh, in movies, right, the protagonist always is a nemesis. So I'm always on the lookout for a nemesis, right? Like someone that's trying to thwart me. Like I want to be thwarted. <laughs> like, uh, I, so, I, and but people, like, in real life, they're just kind of, like, semi nemesis and that's the word, semi <laughs> or, like, they're, they're, like, kind of trying to throw it to you, so the other day I was, like, in traffic, and a guy cuts me off, and I was like, ooh, is this my nemesis? <laughs> and I get, like, this such a, like, adrenaline, and I'm like, oh, this is a big moment for me, I can pull up next to him, I'm driving, I'm like, yes, I get my speech ready, I'm like, how dare you thwart, and then I stop, because I rolls down the window, and it's actually Exhibit from Pit My Ride, he's like, yo, dog, I saw, I didn't see you, I was too busy watching this 4K resolution ATTV, thanks guys, that's what's up. <laughs>